Yeah, I was thinking about the the this mythologizing that's growing out of Second World War that Churchill is a part of. You know, I was born in the Balkans, and yet as Eastern European kids, we were brought up after the fall of Yugoslavia on a steady diet of American and British war movies, creating an illusion that the war was won exclusively by the British and mostly the Americans. And then you grow up and you start reading a little bit. And I read somewhere there four fifths of the war was fought in the East. Um, and it's like, wait a minute, that sounds quite different than Saving Private Ryan portrays, or I don't know, Dunkirk. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, you know, during the war itself, and for 10 years at least afterwards, no intelligent person, whatever his or her politics, if you'd come up to them and said, who was, which, what was the key factor? in winning the Second World War. Many people say the Russian army, the Red Army won that war. And the coverage of the Red Army's victories in the British media, you have to go and look at them to realize it was acknowledged. It had to be acknowledged. And um, it was it was acknowledged till the rewriting of history began. I mean, Yugoslavia is an interesting case in point. Unlike Greece, where Churchill was utterly vicious, utterly vicious, because the Greek islands uh, in the Mediterranean were important staging posts for the empire. It was strategically considered important. Yugoslavia wasn't. And... Uh, Churchill knew that the Germans had formed a government in Croatia, the first independent Croatian government was a Nazi government, I mean, you know, uh, and they couldn't be relied on. Uh, some of the Bosniaks were fighting for the Germans under pressure. Uh, the biggest resistance in the Second World War to the Germans came from, you know, the partisans led by Tito. They fought the Germans virtually to a standstill. And, uh, you know, that's why Tito maintained this independence even against Moscow. He said, we know what we did. And at one point he threatened Stalin, don't think we are like Hungary or this or that. Under your control, we are not. And any attempt made by the Russians to overrun Yugoslavia, we will arm all our people as we did against the Nazis. He said that. And so the Yugoslav resistance, which also now is being written out of the history of Yugoslavia by nationalist, ultra-nationalist imbeciles, I mean, that's what they're trying to do. It's part of the same thing. Don't acknowledge what the others did who were crucial for that victory, just like the Greek resistance. So um, much, much more important than the French and Italian resistance from the point of view of the Second World War. The eastern parts of Europe played a decisive role um, at key points of the war, and this used to be... Uh, used to be uh, acknowledged. But, you know, such is history and such are the needs for a different type of history in this world when a new Cold War is beginning. Uh, when... All right, first and foremost, a massive, massive thank you to my patrons, aka producers, Yurechuk, Mila, Veronica, Carmen, and Taichi. You legends rock. Without you, this podcast would not have been possible. Thank you so much. For the rest of you, if you enjoyed listening to this episode, please do follow on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and subscribe on YouTube. That would be a big help. And of course, if you want to become a Patreon, uh, a patron to go on Patreon, find me there and become one. All right. Thanks.